Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this bracelet. I saw a bracelet like this on Pinterest and I really liked it so I decided I'd make a tutorial on it. But this is what it looks like. It's a really simple dainty bracelet but I thought it'd just be a fun video to show you guys how I made it. If you want to know where I got the materials for this bracelet from and how I made it in general, you can just keep on watching. What you're going to need to make this bracelet is stretchy string and you're also going to need the beads. So I have all my beads in here so I'm going to show you guys which ones I used. So I have these pearl beads and I also have these beads right here and they are just gold ones. I don't really know what color seed bead because I'm going to do gold but then I need like another color with it so I'm still deciding that but any color seed bead you want to use. So now that I have my beads chosen out I'm going to start the bracelet. I'm going to get my string. This is the string I use. I haven't been able to do a lot of different DIYs because I need to buy a new string since this one is really thick but since the string is more sturdy it's good for bracelets since it won't snap as easily. You really don't need too many beads to make this bracelet because it's mostly pearls but I have this many beads and this is going to be enough. I don't know, I've just been really into pearls recently, so that's why I decided to make this bracelet. Now that I have my beads ready, I'll start this bracelet off by making a knot at the end. That way the beads don't slide off when I'm adding them on. So that was twice, and then one more time. I'm not going to cut off the excess just yet, because I'm going to need this when I'm done with the bracelet, and I have to tie the two ends together. So now I can start by adding the pearls. You could use any type of pearls, you could just use like the perfectly round ones, but these are the ones I'm using. So here's the first one. I think I have to make more knots because as you guys can see, this is a really big opening. I'm going to do two more knots since the opening on the pearls are really big. And now I'm going to add the seed beads. So the pattern for this is going to be one gold seed bead. Instead of the blue, I'm going to do white. I don't know, I feel like it'd look better and I can match it with a lot more stuff. So I'm going to be using the little white bead. And then I'm going to do one more gold bead. And then you're just going to keep doing that and you're going to add a pearl bead. So the pattern is basically a pearl, then a gold bead, and then the color bead of your choice, and then another gold bead, and then another pearl. So it just keeps continuing. This is what it looks like, and now I'm going to add another pearl. For some reason, this has like a knot after every pearl, so I have to cut each one. So now I'm going to continue doing this, and I'm going to put some of this in time lapse. Okay, so sorry if I have a whole bunch of fuzzies on my nails, it's because of this, but this is how the bracelet is looking so far. I really like it, I think it's a really simple bracelet, but obviously I'm not done yet, but here is how it's looking. If you want, you can add more beads in between if you have less pearls, or if you just want there to be not as many pearls on here, you could put like five beads in between, but I decided to just do three, and I still have a couple of pearls to cut off. I'm just cutting the pearls off, and then I'm adding them the bracelet and i'll probably use all the pearls because it was like the same size as my wrist i probably just won't use like one or two it's really easy i think i've been doing this probably for five minutes so not long at all but i'm going to continue making this bracelet now I'm adding a couple more beads on. I don't know if the bracelet is finished, but I have to put it on my wrist to see if I need to add more beads or not. This is how it's looking. I have to end this off with three beads because I started it off with a pearl. You can see it's like loose. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this pearl right here. So I'm just going to stop it here because I feel like it's a good size. I probably could take like one more pearl off, but I don't know. I really can't tell. I'm going to take off one more because it's a little bit too big still. This is a lot better. It fits way better. Now that I've done that, I'm going to get the two ends of this bracelet and I'm going to tie them. But before I do that, I'm going to cut this because it's a bit too long and I'm going to tie this together. This is kind of hard to see because the string isn't that long. I'm basically just doing a regular knot. That's it double knotted, but I'm gonna do it three times because I always triple knot it just to be safe. I'm gonna go like this to make sure that it's not gonna undo. And I'm gonna cut off the excess. You wanna try cutting this as close as possible. That way you don't see the clear elastic. This is how the bracelet looks. I really like it. That's where I tied it and you can barely tell because it's clear elastic. Okay, so that is how you make this bracelet. I really like it. I decided to go with white beads. As you guys saw, I was going to do blue, but then I realized that white will match with a lot more. I got all the material for this bracelet at Hobby Lobby. I see a lot of jewelry on Pinterest and I thought this was really pretty, so that's why I decided to make it. But hopefully you guys like it. If you guys do end up making this bracelet, comment down below how it turned out. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!